The Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the OnePlus 7 Pro have been sitting at the top of our speed test rankings for a while now. We were gonna run the test against the regular OnePlus 7T, but after hearing about the 7T Pro and specifically this decked out McLaren edition of the phone, we decided to wait. And I'm glad we did because both of these phones are packing some serious power. In fact, they're actually almost the same except for two key differences. The first is the OnePlus 7T Pro is using the upgraded Snapdragon 855 Plus chip instead of the standard 855 like on the Notes. And the second difference is the Note is using the newer F2FS file system compared to the older AXT4 system found on the OnePlus. And in theory, both of these differences should have at least some effect on performance. Of course, there's no real way to know like just how much of a difference they make by looking at the spec sheets. So let's get to the test. After the test, you can find the official Fumble Style rankings on our website at the link below, which we created with the sponsor of today's video in Wix. With Wix, you can tap into the power of your smartphone and AI by building your own professional websites right on your phone. Just answer a few questions, pick a theme you like, upload some photos, and boom, your site can be done in a matter of minutes. Or if you want more fine control, just use the drag and drop editor like I did to get everything looking just the way you want. Try it out for yourself at the first link down below. All right, we'll kick things off by starting the stopwatches on each phone and then jumping into the first row where the OnePlus 7T Pro gets the step over the Note 10 in Facebook and is able to improve on its lead in Starbucks. Here in Microsoft Word, we'll see if the OnePlus can create some more separation between it and the Notes while loading this 500 page document. But while the 7T Pro did load that document at a slightly faster rate, it wasn't by much, which might cost the OnePlus here in the camera test, considering that it has to physically pop up that selfie cam where the Note doesn't. But somewhat surprisingly, the two phones snap that selfie at identical rates. And here in Snapseed, both phones are editing the same exact photo by applying two different filters, where this time around, the Note 10 Plus was actually able to do so at a faster rate, cutting into the OnePlus's lead as each phone begins working on rendering this video, an area where you'd expect the 7T Pro to outperform with its Snapdragon 855 Plus processor. But that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Not only does the Note catch up to the 7T Pro, but it actually passes it as it moves on to the browser test, which does come as a bit of a surprise. The difference here could be due to the Note's different file system in F2FS, or it could just be an optimization thing with the 7T Pro being such a new device. But either way, the two phones are neck and neck here in the gaming row. There was no difference between them in Subway Surfers, and only a slight edge for the Note's in flip diving. So three quarters into this first lap and the difference between the two phones is not that big. While the Note is holding on to its lead as it begins working on forward assault, the OnePlus 7T Pro is still right there behind it. And unless something drastic happens in the last row, I don't know if that's going to change. While the Note flew through Spotify, so does the 7T Pro. The same exact thing happens again in ESPN with the 7T Pro matching the Note's performance and once again in Hulu, meaning the Note finishes the first lap with a time of one minute and 55 seconds, just two seconds ahead of the 7T Pro, which comes in at one minute and 57 seconds. So not a big difference between the two at all. And here in the second lap, with both phones having 12 gigabytes of RAM, that's unlikely to change. In fact, outside Outside of slightly slower animations on the notes, the two phones perform the same with them ending just one second apart, which isn't enough to declare a clear winner, making this speed test a tie. Anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.